Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and welcome to Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. In this series of videos, we're gonna take a personal look at Cricut Design Space and all the different pieces that go into it that you can use to make the perfect project. So let's take a look at what today's installment is all about. In this installment, we're gonna take a look at the set canvas option in Cricut Design Space. The canvas option is an amazing way for you to set an object to base your design around. It makes it simple and precise so your project comes out looking perfect. Let's take a look at it now. We're gonna go ahead and select on the left-hand side the set canvas option. This is going to bring up all of the canvases that Cricut has programmed into Cricut Design Space. As you can see, there is a ton of different canvases that you can base a project around. Now, up at top, you have a couple of search options. In this drop-down box, you can base it on what type of canvas it is, from clothing and accessories all the way down to parties and events. You can also search the canvases by keywords. So if we are looking at a specific shirt, it will bring up all of the canvases that are based around shirts, from baseball t-shirts all the way down to the wide neck t-shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that so we can take a look at all the canvases. Now, one of the most popular canvases I see people use is the Cricut tote bag that came in your box. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this one. We're gonna go ahead and select it, and as you can see, it brings it into design space. Now, keep in mind, just because it's in the design space does not mean it's going to cut this image. It is just a reference for you to base your design around. Now, in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see a plus and a minus, and this lets you zoom in and out on your project, which includes your canvas. So if you wanna take a closer look at something, you could. Let's also take a look at the edit capabilities within the canvas. Over on the right-hand side, we can select canvas, and this will bring up some options. For right now, let's go ahead and change ours to gray by selecting the color, because that's the color that that tote bag came in. Now, we can go ahead and add things to the canvas to get an idea of what it will look like. Let's go ahead and add some text. Now, we can see where on the bag this would go. So, if we want to make this bigger, it would give us a good idea of what our finished project would look like. Now, let's say we wanted to go ahead and do something different and work with a different canvas. Very simple, all you need to do is go back to your canvas option and either choose a blank canvas, which will bring you back to your regular design space, or we can take a look at a different canvas. Let's take a closer look at a typical classic t-shirt. This brought it up into design space, and under our canvas option, we have a little bit of more options than we did with our tote bag. Under type, you can actually change the size of the shirt from a baby, toddler, kids, men's, or women. So if we choose men's, it's also going to let us adjust the size. Is this a small, medium, large, extra large, or even a double XL large? Now this is very important because when you're designing a t-shirt, you wanna make sure that the size requirements match what you're designing. Let's go ahead and choose the large t-shirt, and I'm gonna zoom out so I can see the entire t-shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and work with a red t-shirt here, and move it over, and now I can go ahead and insert images. So let's go ahead and pick an image to add to that t-shirt. And let's go ahead and put Olaf on my t-shirt. Now I can go ahead and change the designs like I normally would and position it exactly where I want on the t-shirt. This gives you a good frame of reference to decide how big your image needs to be and what it will look like on the finished canvas. Well, I hope you learned something new in that installment of Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, make sure to click the playlist on your screen now. You'll be taken to the playlist with the collection of the entire Roadmap to Cricut Design Space videos. Also, if you haven't checked out my print to cut videos, make sure to click this playlist now. This will give you an inside look of how to calibrate your machine, update your firmware, and get your machine ready for print to cut. All right, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks.